Hey guys, Melissa. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Alright, so I am a major introvert. Super, super, super introverted, right? So this is how my personality is. I'm very introverted, but um, I'm also very, um, I say I'm shy and people will be like, you're not shy because you're like so outwardly focused. Um, I am but I also need like time to myself. I do not consider myself like a major extrovert. Um, some people have both. They have, you know, introvert and extrovert. I tend to be a little bit like that, but I'm more on the side of introverted because I do need a lot of time to myself, but I also like to stay connected, as you can tell with my YouTube channel, to people, to the world, and with my jobs, the same thing. Even when I waitress, I'm very introverted. So, um, what's going on now? So, I've got somebody here on my YouTube channel saying, I said I don't agree with women pastors, right? It's not me, it's what the Bible says. So, I had talked to somebody, what was it, last week that said, you know, oh, basically, you know, what Paul said isn't really true because Jesus came and that's all that matters because he was, um, Paul was you know, 30 years or something away from Christ. And I said, well, you know, in my study this week, we were talking about this. Well, that would disqualify Moses, right? Who was uh, away from Christ and the prof the prophets, et cetera, et cetera. So that line of thinking just doesn't match. So um, when we talk about women pastors, it's not biblical. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> everyone can get mad if they want, but it's not biblical. So, um, what is biblical is what Paul said, that he does not want a woman to teach a man. Now, we're not talking in informal uh, ways. When he was saying this, he was talking about the church. Uh, men are natural leaders. So, ideally, this is what you want to do as a woman. And this is not a weakness. What you want to do is you want to support your husband. That's what you want to do. And then you want to support the men around you is what you want to do. So um, I did support my husband, and that takes work, right? That's not from weakness. That is a strength to be able to support your husband and to be able to support other men. It's not something that, you know, is easy to come by with all their bad habits and stuff sometimes. It's, you know, you got to kind of work at it. So, um that is what a woman's role is. It's in the home. It's with her husband. It's with her children to lift them up. It's in her work. It's in her community. So sometimes, like I have been talking about my work, and, you know, when you have somebody who accuses you of things, you know, as I was accused at work of many, many things, it, it there's nothing wrong with standing up for yourself and saying, you know, actually, no, you know, this is not what happened. You know, you're accusing me of stuff. It's not what happened. There was some post-traumatic stress there. You know, there was when Gabe Bolt had um, <clears throat> invaded my personal space, uh, there was some pressure there that I felt. There was some tension and some pressure. And, uh, you know, for that little moment of, you know, accusing me of, you know, whatever it is, uh, no, you invaded my space. So it doesn't mean you can't stand up to someone. And like I said, not to be, when we communicate as women, we are not all over the place, but we are dealing with something over here. We're centered, right? I'm very centered, very calm. We are dealing with stuff over here, and then we go over here, and we deal with it over here and over here. So we spider web stuff when we're dealing with stuff and we're trying to usually solve a problem as a woman, right? So I called, um, <clears throat> I called like some different centers today. I called another center that helps women after abortion. And there's no question about the basic, you know, post-traumatic stress symptoms of <clears throat> flashbacks, nightmares, um, guilt, regret, all this with abortion. But there is also more. There is also the psychological stuff that comes into play with the stuff surrounding the abortion. The, you know, a lot of times when women feel pressured,
they feel like they have to give in to a guy. They feel that. They feel like they have to be the one who has to give in to a guy. And that comes from, you know, probably something that happened around the abortion. So that is not an invitation for a man to, you know, have sex with you. It's not an invitation. It's not, it's not an offer. It's none of that. So um be be willing to stand up for yourself and i've got kevin leandro threatening that you know he has a solid case and he's saying i attempted uh adultery with gay bolt and nothing could be further from the truth and when you don't know somebody's heart and you don't know you know why they may work at kw like i said i was definitely invited to apply there not through gay bolt but through a couple other men um, when you don't know the heart of somebody and you make these accusations, it's just ridiculous. So this is my point with Leandro. He makes accusations and I'm not saying that he's, you know, he's making accusations with me too, saying that I'm making false accusations when I am not at all. So <clears throat> he's the one making the false accusations. So make sure you deal with this, ladies. Deal with it very thoroughly. Be willing to take the extra time to get into the detail of how things happen, how they go about. Um, so I do appreciate that the bolts were there. Like I said, they were understanding afterwards, but still they were like, we don't want to hire you back. And to this day, I have not had, um, you know, a real apology with the, um, with the work situation. Yes, I, I know Gabe said sorry in his own way. Uh, and even, you know, on his YouTube channel, I help out over there and, but, you know, I still haven't gotten an apology from Gordon. I just got, you did a bad job and that's it. So, um, that's kind of where it's at. And if you have to stand and you have to take this in court, then you've got to take it, but you're going to stand on the truth. And it would be very hypocritical in my opinion for a church to have a problem with this when they speak so often about standing on truth. So that's what I got for now, ladies.